So today we're taking a look at your downswing sequencing. We're looking at that pelvis movement and it has three stages of movement, okay? Across, rotate and up. How can we learn to apply this? Where will you be going wrong? How can you get the solutions in place? Let's take a look at this right now. We're talking about the correct movement in the downswing from the pelvis, okay? And it actually has three stages. So it has a glide, which is a little bit of lateral, okay? Then it has the rotate where you start to really open up. And then lastly, it has the launch, which is the pushing up from the ground and the pelvis working upwards this way. So what we see is that lots of people tend to struggle. They have one area that they don't get in. So Younger golfers who tend to get trapped, what they've got is they've got loads of rotation and then they've got launch as they push up, but they haven't got any glide. So if you get trapped, what you need to be doing is start to learn to get the glide in this way, which is getting the slide across and feeling like you're more engaged in the floor. So once you've got to that top of the back swing here, as you get the glide, you feel like you're really in the floor here, you feel your thighs are really engaged, and then the rotate and the launch will all start to come through. If you're somebody who's played golf for many years, who's got quite a slidey lower half, you'll have, you'll have the glide, but you'll also have the push, but you won't have any rotation. So for you, what you're really wanting to be working at is getting the feeling of really pushing hard into that left heel. And one big thing is feeling like that left leg's posting up a bit earlier. Because if you slide a lot, you tend to get very bent knees here at impact this way which everything gets a little bit sort of trapped and underneath it. So if you're rotating, it'll feel like that left leg begins to post up a lot earlier. If you are lastly somebody who really gets a good movement across and gets rotated, but doesn't get the push up and left, what you're wanting to do is get the feeling from sort of just before impact of like the belly button, feeling like it's moving up towards the sky and into the follow through here, almost feeling like the upper body is back. It won't be, but it'll sort of be here. When I see people who don't get the launch or the push up enough, what we tend to find is end of their follow through, the upper body's very forwards here in the shot. They're really over that front foot, but they haven't had any of that movement where the pelvis is extended in this direction. So that's gonna be the big thing for you. So let's have a little go at this. So I'm just gonna I get a feeling of almost like a Molinari exaggeration so I can feel each stage of it. So it's going to the top here, we sit, then I'm getting the rotate, and then the launch, which is the real push-up. So it's getting the one bit that you struggle with the most built into your practice swing. So from there, let's have a little go at this one. So just making sure that, remember, you've got to get that sequence together so it's going to get in the movement across, which will be the settling in, the rotate, and then the push up. So for me there, I think I felt like I did a pretty good job on that one. I personally don't always get open quite enough. I get the movement across, but I don't get open enough. So I think I did quite well on there. Because I felt like for me, if I get the feeling of being more in the ground, get the feeling moving into that left heel which is going to get my body more open at impact obviously there's a few drills that can come in for this so if this is something you find really interesting and you find there's some information in here that can help your game comment below and we'll endeavor to make sure that we make a couple of videos with drills on it that can help you with each section of this downswing to really help you maximize your power and your efficiency in your downswing to help improve your consistency if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thanks for watching and talk to you again really soon.